Well, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Great Off-Road Adventures. Now, if you haven't seen anything from this series yet, the first four episodes cover us coming up into the Pilbara, checking out a few awesome spots there, making our way up to Dampier Peninsula and checking out Cape Levique and James Price Point. From there, we work our way along the bitumen, heading out to Wolf Creek Crater and the Bungle Bungles before going up to the Lake Argyle Caravan Park. And that's where you've caught up with us now. Let's get into it. Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back. We were still at Lake Argyle and we're gonna head down to the lake for a swim. So there's a swimming area that's provided by the caravan park. Say three, four hundred meter walk. Yeah, yeah something like that. Just a short walk down there, so that's where we're gonna head to. Go have a swim in the lake, see what it's like, and uh, yeah, wake up for the morning, get ready for the day. Well, the walking trail from the caravan park down to the edge of the lake is pretty steep and rugged in a few places, so definitely wash your footing and take care. That being said, it is an absolutely magic view on the way down. The next tip I have for you is the water temperature. Now, the water in the lake is actually a lot warmer than the water in the swimming pool in the caravan park. So um, if it's hot and you want to refresh, go to the pool. If it's a bit cooler outside and you want to warm up, go to the lake. Well, after both the swim in the lake and the pool, it was time to go and do a bit of exploring. Now, some fun facts for you about Lake Argyle. It is the largest man-made lake in Australia. This is controversial because Lake Pedder slash Lake Gordon in Tasmania is technically larger, but it's two lakes joined with a canal. So the water that you can see there is really just the sort of tip of the dam. The rest of it extends way back into the carboid ranges and the best way to truly tell its size is to have a look at the satellite image because uh, yeah, even the drone doesn't give you a good uh, impression of its size. Well, we've relocated uh, quickly this morning from uh, Lake Argyle Caravan Park to Discovery Park in Kununurra. Literally, that behind us is the um, Upper Ord River so, or Lake Kununurra is the other name they call it. We're just waiting for the um, Ord River cruise boat to come pick us up and we're going, going to go on the uh, river cruise this afternoon. So just scoff some lunch, enjoyed the view and yeah, bring on a uh, good fun boat ride. So Jess and I have gone for the longer boat ride. Where's it take us Jess? So we're going to go I'm not sure if it's up or down, but one way along the yard on the boat, up. and then one way back on the yard. That way is up. 
I'm not good with my sense of direction at this moment, but we're going to go along the river on the boat and then back along the river to yeah. maximise croc sightings and seeing the scenery and all of that. Ending at sunset, and, you know. Should be coming back past Elephant Rock around sunset, so. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that's the plan. Well everyone, it's time to show your support for the channel. Minimize the video, let it keep playing, go and smash that like button, the subscribe button, and enable the bell for notifications for when the rest of the series comes out. It was a really enjoyable boat ride up the Ord River and now having arrived at the base of Lake Argyle it was time to pick up the other half of the tour which had come via the bus and we started to learn about how the whole Lake Argyle Ord River irrigation system works and it's actually really clever. So the water that we're in now is the Upper Ord River or Lake Kununurra as I said before. And that is where the irrigation scheme draws its water from for all the flood irrigation down on the flatlands. Now in order to ensure that there was always water in Lake Kununurra or the Upper Ord, uh, they engineered the Lake Argyle Dam project. Now the wall was not as tall as you see it now, it was uh, originally six metres shorter and then uh, yeah, a few years back they increased the wall height, increased the capacity of the dam. So there's five or six years worth of uh, water supply in Lake Argyle, and then there's another year's worth of water supply in Lake Kununurra. And that's to ensure that there's always water there for irrigation. Should there be a year or a few years of uh, not a great deal of rain through the wet season to refill everything. Well, we were absolutely blessed on the Ord River cruise to see a heap of wildlife. So we saw bats, we saw crocodiles, uh, we saw rock wallabies, you name it, uh, it was there. And the skipper, Grant, did a really great job giving us the opportunity to stop, take videos, take photos, and explaining and showing us all of the bits and pieces. So yeah, it was awesome. Really good way to spend uh, sort of three quarters of a day and if you're in town absolutely recommend it Well everybody we're just wrapping up uh, Some afternoon tea on the Triple J Ford River cruise. We had an absolute blast today. What did you think? I have loved this tour. This was the one that I was a little bit worried about um, that it would you know 
be long because we're on the boat for so long. Mm -hmm. Not at all. It's been amazing yep. to the point that I want to come out here for a week because the, between the scenery, the animal life, you just I, I haven't had a better tour in a while. Yep. So really, really enjoyable boat tour. So much to see and do on the river. We, as you would have seen, caught the boat both ways. So we got sort of speedboat ride up there and then um, picked up a few more passengers that caught the bus to the top. And then we got the, um, we're doing a tour, tour ride back and all the information and sightseeing. Sun going down over the ranges is beautiful. So yeah, really enjoying it. Yep, absolutely. We'll show you a few more highlights and we'll be back at camp soon. So um, everyone's climbing back on board. We'll, uh, we'll see you once we're back on the move. Well, Kununurra has a heap of other cool things to check out like Miramar or Hidden Valley National Park and the Hoochery if you're up for a bit of a liquor tour and whatnot. So we checked them out and after that it was time for us to go and hit the tracks again. Well guys, we've gotten down to the uh, Ivanhoe River. Well, it's the Ord River, the Ivanhoe Crossing I should say. We've gotten down to the Ivanhoe Crossing. Now this one's been a bit of a bucket list for me. I've wanted to do it for a while so it's open it all looks good so yeah we're gonna give it a go chucked it in low range should be fine second gear we'll just cruise over It was a pretty awesome feeling to be able to knock the Ivanhoe crossing off of the bucket list. And by doing that, we got onto the road that goes around towards Parrish Creek and onto Wyndham, which then goes past a bunch of other cool places, Spring Creek being one of them. Now, the track into Spring Creek is a lot of fun. It's pretty moderate to tough four-wheel driving. And uh, yeah, I guess you'll uh, see it all now. Just a bit of a reminder to everyone, you can also find us on Great Off Road Adventures at Facebook and Instagram, and there we are posting all our photos and other bits and pieces from the trip. So make sure you head over and check it out.
I've made it to the end of the Spring Creek track. We've uh, thrown down our thongs, grabbed our towels, and I'm just gonna walk out and see what it looks like. If it looks good for a swim, and I'm definitely jumping in, because uh, I'm ready for one. Can hear the sound of uh, trickling water and a waterfall, so it already sounds bloody good to me. And at the end of a good little four-wheel drive track, can't wait. Well, excuse my uh, pasty white skin at uh, Spring Creek. Put it on your list of places to come and visit. It's not that far out of Kununurra. If you've got a four wheel drive um, and you know how to use low range and let your tires down, you'll get into here okayish Lee. There are some water crossings. None of them were particularly deep. That uh, obviously depends on uh, rainfall and the time of year. But definitely try to get out here it is a lovely spot i think we're very fortunate to have had it to ourselves and uh it's so peaceful so yeah if you want to get out here spring creek comes off the um the parry creek kununurra road it's pretty easy to find come check it out This morning we got up uh, again, had a bit more of a lazy day. We were originally planning to do the old Karunji track this morning to go from Wyndham to El Questro. However, we've been told that that's been closed still currently. Um, so we've had a bit of shuffling around. Uh, as a result, we've come out here this morning. This is the bird hide near Telegraph Hill. Um, it's a billabong site and bird life here is amazing. I don't think I've seen so many birds in one location before. Still trying to find my salty, not having much luck, although I don't think I see it even if it was right in front of me at this point because there is so much vegetation and movement here. Um, so yes, the plan is after we're done here, we'll leave uh, Bird Hide and we'll head into Wyndham, check out the Five Rivers, look out at Wyndham and anything else we want to see. Then just head down the main road uh, via the grotto to El Questro. Hoping to get to El Questro a bit earlier today. We've heard it's very busy and we just want to try and make sure we get everything in that we can. So yeah, um, that's the plan for the day. So not quite what we wanted originally, but we're making do and it's still going to be an awesome day. Well, from Wyndham, we've just uh, gone down the King Edward Road, which goes out towards Digger's Rest. 
Uh, unfortunately, we can't do the old Kurunji track, as Jess said, it is still closed. So, but we are gonna stick our head down and go down to Digger's Rest, look at the prison Boab. And what do you reckon of the road? The road's pretty rough. <laughs> it's uh, lots of washouts, bit of water across it. So it's gonna take it easy and go slow. But halfway down towards Digger's Rest, there's um, Mulchabiria Dam, I think. I'll put the name on the screen. I don't know how to pronounce it. And there's some cave paintings and stuff there. So that's what we're doing now. Just going in to check out the um, cave paintings and um, see what they look like. I'm assuming this is the way. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, yeah, so they've got a sign. Cool. So the next spot for us to check out was the prison Boab tree. Now there is obviously a lot of history surrounding this, a lot of it quite sad. I do touch on it a little bit, but I don't want to go into too much detail. Well, this is as far as we're going to get down the uh, King Edward River Road. This is the prison Boab. So this is as far as the road is open. We're going to check out the prison Boab and then unfortunately we do have to backtrack which is fine because we got told of another spot to check out, which is called the Grotto. I'll touch on that later when we get there. But yeah, this is the prison Boab. Go on, jump in. Honestly, it's too tall for me. I can't get in. <laughs> Shame. It's massive. It doesn't feel like a tree. So prison Boab, pretty evident from its name what it does. Uh, when they used to march prisoners on foot between the different localities, um, that overnight at places like this, close to water, close to food, and they would actually keep the prisoners in the tree overnight for security. So yeah, a little bit of a old history lesson for you, but it's massive. Well, after our visit to the prison boat, we've just rocked up at the grotto. So some travellers we ran into um, at the Bungle Bungles highly recommended it. They said they loved it here. Um, and given that we can't do the Karunji track, we figured we'd go check it out. So we've just had some lunch at the car and making the um, walk down. The sign reckons it's 144 steps to the bottom. And it's a pool that um, has water in it all year round. So yeah, we'll, we'll go check it out. What do you reckon, bro? Pretty cool spot. Definitely worth the climb in. Climb in was not all that arduous. And uh, yeah, can't wait to go for a swim. Well, that is gonna wrap up episode five. You're gonna need to come back and check out episode six as we finally get stuck into the Gibb River Road. We start with El Questro. We get to check out pretty much everything there. Really looking forward to showing it all to you. And uh, yeah, kicking on with what the rest of the Gib has to offer. Stay tuned, plenty more to come in this series. And uh, I hope you're all enjoying it. As usual guys, you can subscribe by clicking the red big red button below. Uh, turn on notifications by clicking the bell. 
and if you've enjoyed the video would appreciate you giving us a thumbs up and letting us know in the comments below.